What's up everybody, this is Silent Wolf, and this is going to be my DKC speedrun tutorial for Ropey Rampage, the second stage in World 1. So what we're going to do, once again, is just go ahead and watch what this stage would look like if it were done optimally, and then after that I'll go through the stage and break it down piece by piece for you guys. Um, if you guys watch my tutorial for Jungle Hijinks, the first stage in World 1, um, there's not really any new tech in this stage. Uh, there are a couple extended rolls, but nothing as complicated as the uh, long one that you see in Juggle Hijinks. I think it's safe to say that this is also the easiest stage in World 1 to optimize, so if you're first learning the game, this might be the best stage to start out with, just to get the swing of things. Um, so let's go ahead and watch that again, and I'll break down a few things. Stop. Okay, so first roll, you see these little brown divots on the ground. I want You want to start the first roll somewhere around the very beginning of this first one. Um, my, I, I realize that my input display is a little bit delayed, so you're probably going to see me start it somewhere around here, but just keep that in mind that uh, my rolls are actually happening a bit earlier than my input display. So just to see what that looks like, boom, boom. And up here is where we come to our first extendo. Um, just to get up these cliffs, you just want to do two minimum jumps to get up here. And the moment that we land on this platform up here, we're going to want to tap Y and immediately release it before we hit the crem. So we can do an extendo here. Um, doing an extendo here is pretty crucial because otherwise we won't be able to make it up to the tree after the rope that's coming up without climbing up the rope. So um, let me let me go back just a little bit actually. So we tap Y, roll through the creme, and somewhere around here is where we repress Y. Yep, we can see it there. Um, and what this does is gives us a bit of extra height so that when we jump and grab the rope, we'll be able to immediately jump off the rope and reach the top of this tree up here. So if you're new to learning extendos or extended rolls, this is a really good introduction extendo. I'm just going to skip through this a bit. Oh god, okay. Thanks VLC. Um, so visual cue coming up for here. If you start your roll from too early, you'll not really be able to roll through these guys cleanly. So you want to start your roll somewhere around the center of this tree and when I say like start it at the center of the tree I mean when Diddy when you see Diddy basically collide with that point the way that I know it as someone who's familiar with the game is let's say there was an enemy here it's kinda like where Diddy would take damage from an enemy that were right here but I know that if you're like just now learning the game that's probably not really a meaningful like cue for you so I would just assume that means somewhere right around here like not really Diddy's lip but maybe like the left side of his right pupil I don't know but yeah we're gonna start this roll like right in the center of the tree here what that's gonna let us do is roll through all these crumbs now I have kind of a weird visual cue for this next jump um, when I'm moving fast I find it more useful to have visual cues of things leaving the screen rather than entering the screen. So to get the most out of your roll here, you're going to want to jump as close to this edge as possible. And what that looks like is this. Without bonking the ledge. If you bonk the ledge, you lose all your speed. If you jump too early, you're not milking your roll as much as you could. So. What my cue is, is actually not looking at this ledge, nothing on the ground. It is once this right side of the tree leaves the screen, that's when I do a minimum jump. So it, it's like a little bit after that. And that's the cue that I use. It's, it's kind of a weird visual cue, but ever since I implemented that as my visual cue, I've become much more consistent at milking that roll. This part's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go back a bit just so you can like see the flow of that. Okay. 
And then once again, we're going to start our roll pretty much in the center of this tree. Um, if you start it from anywhere else, you might bonk this tree. You might like roll down onto here onto this tree. Uh, what well, the reason that we want to roll in the center of this tree is because you're going to roll straight over this tree and then straight down. If you land on this tree and then fall down, you'll um, have to restart your uh, your fall momentum basically. So start the roll right there. Try and avoid landing on this tree just so you start falling from up here so then by the time you get here you already have some acceleration built up. If you bonk here you're gonna have to restart that acceleration and then we're just falling into this barrel here. Now to optimize this you don't want to roll right away when you get out of this cave. Um, you can roll pretty early but if you start your roll too early you're gonna get a really slow roll uh, this applies to pretty much like coming out of any cave, coming out of the start of stages. Um, you really need to like just familiarize yourself with the timing for the earliest possible time when you can do your roll and actually get that fast roll. Um, I usually use, once again, this brown divot in the background as my visual cue. Sometime, sometime before that is when you're going to want to start your roll. getting shot out of here. I usually hold B. I don't think it actually speeds you up. I've just been doing it since I learned the game. Um, so for this section, I usually start my roll in the center of this thing. I guess you could also use the right side of this brown divot. But that should give you a pretty meaty roll before you land on these ropes. Now, jumping off of the ropes I'm not 100% sure of what's the most optimal method of doing that. You just kind of get a feel for it over time. Um, if you're unsure about that, I would just try and do it exactly how I do it in this video. You don't want to stay on the ropes too long, but you also don't want to jump off too early and hit the B. One thing that's important is you do want to be careful about this jump. You don't want to be too greedy and land on the Bs. But you also don't want to jump as far as you can. You pretty much want to land as far left on this platform as possible, just so you get more roll time in and less time spent falling through the air. So you can see I just barely pass this B and land right here and immediately start my roll. Um, there, there are a few ways to do the extendo through this creme. I think they all save about the same amount of time, so it's really just preference, but I'll just kind of outline how I do it here. So I buffer this roll, just tap Y. You'll notice I'm already, um, I've already released Y at this point. Rolling through the cram. Get the fuck out of here. And then I don't repress yet. I try and milk this roll for as much as I can. So I wait until I'm about halfway from this platform and the next platform I'm about to land on, which you can't quite see yet. You can see the sign is on it. And then I repress about right here. And that extends my roll all the way over there. Um, this final roll on this stage, pretty straightforward. Um, you don't want to start it at the very edge. You can actually start it from like back here. So uh, if you start it from too far back, like this far back, you're just going to roll into the army and lose all your speed. But if you start it from like right here, I don't really have a good visual cue for it, I just know it as like this distance from the ledge. You want to start it there and then you should still roll over the army. So pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like in fast motion one more time now that we've seen how to do everything. Not doing any sort of extendo through those three crams. But yeah, this, this stage doesn't really have much variance between the top runners of the game, so uh, this is probably a really good resource for learning the stage. Yep, that's all I have for this stage.